Hope today was another great school day. I'm Alfred. And I'm Aaron. And SVTV starts right now. When the crowd wants more, I bring on the thunder. Cause you got my back and I'm not going under. You're my point, you're my guard, go the perfect chord. And I see our names together on every billboard. We're headed for the top, we got it on lock. We make them say, hey, and we'll keep rocking. The next parent, parent Afterglow meeting is tomorrow in the East Commons at 7 p.m. Senior Sorority Group Panoramic Picture, please see Mrs. Varner in from the office. For the Washburn University CPT students on Friday, Ms. Mr. Al Alexander and Mrs. Uh, Fernandez will be in the library to answer questions and help with enrollment. The SHS International Thespian Troop attended the State Festival in Wichita over the break. Congratulations and well done. That's not all the activities we have to talk about. Here's Aaron with the sports. Don't vape, because you will get lung cancer and you will die. Don't vape in the classroom. Don't vape in the bathroom. Don't vape in the parking lot. Just don't vape. Promise? Vaping may seem harmless, but it can leave many lasting effects, such as breathing problems, bloody sores, weakened immune system, and insomnia. Majority of teens don't know that most vape contains nicotine, which can lead to a potential drug addiction. Okay, everybody take some candy. No. <laughs> Living in Kansas, we are frequently threatened by heavy rains, large hail, tornadoes, floods, and even snowstorms. Be sure to listen to the SVTV Weather Report daily so you stay informed. And now for your SVTV 5-day forecast, which shows the... There will be an information meeting tomorrow for students interested in pre-season conditioning for the spring. This meeting will be held in an auditorium at 315. The Seaman wrestling team traveled to Emporia to take on them and Paola in a pair of duels. But Seaman lost both duels by being outscored by 30 and 27 points. Up next for the Vikes, they will be traveling to Baser High School on Friday and Saturday. Part of the team will also be participating at the St. Mary's tournament at the same time. The boys and girls basketball team played last night against Topeka West. The boys started out hot with a 9-0 lead, but after a timeout by Topeka West, our Seaman boys ended up losing 65-41. For the girls' side, our Lady Vikes were successful by getting rebounds and turnovers by getting an easy victory 51-23. That's all for sports. Now let's go over to our meteorologist to see how, what the weather's doing. Good afternoon, Vikes. You may have been hearing about a potential winter storm brewing. Here's what you need to know. We are not looking at a significant storm, and it will actually be raining for majority of the time. Regardless of whether we get much snow or not, it's going to be downright cold for the end of the week. Now let's go ahead and break down the timing of the precipitation that we're looking at. Tonight, it should start as rain, possibly in the late evening hours, with a better chance after midnight. And then early tomorrow morning, that should transition over to snow, and any snow should wrap up by the afternoon. Now, this is a tricky forecast, but here's what I'm going with with the snowfall forecast. At least, really, we couldn't even see any accumulation necessarily. If the temperature doesn't drop quite as far, it may not stick to the ground, but we will likely see a trace to one inch and then possibly up to two. But if we see this heavier band of snow shift to the south and east, that could increase the snow totals, and that's why you need to stay weather aware through the next 12 hours. And here's your five-day forecast, which shows much colder air for the rest of the week. And then coming up on Friday, we'll take a look at a closer look at the snow chance coming in early next week. Today in history, it's Save the Eagles Day, and it is George Foreman's birthday. Now let's go back to your anchors and see what you got for Christmas. 
Hey Alfred, what did you get for Christmas? Not much, but let's see what the students got. Hey Vikes, it's Lauren. I went out and talked to students about how their Christmas went. What did you do over break? Uh, I practiced, I got to see my family again, and I went to Legends a lot, and I, <laughs> and I basically just ate. Well, I went to my friend's house, and we, she has this virtual reality thing, and so we were inside the movie It, and then we watched the movie, and it was pretty great. I did a lot of traveling, and I also did a lot of sleeping at home, not doing much. Probably eating. I hung out with friends and saw my family. I worked at least a solid one week. I slept. Yeah. Uh, I grinded out on Call of Duty World War II. <laughs> Uh, hung out with friends, played some Call of Duty. What was your favorite present? Uh, my favorite present was cash because, duh. My favorite present was the rice cooker that I got from my grandma. And uh, my favorite present was the probably the softest blanket I've ever gotten. Pitt State represent. I got a lot of money. Uh, my favorite present was I got a Keurig. I got money for Christmas. My favorite Christmas gift was probably an iPhone 8. Probably my new clothes that I got. I got a whole bunch, so. I got a lot of makeup from Sephora. My favorite present was World War II, Call of Duty. Mine was probably money. Seems like students had a great break. Now back to your anchors. That was cool. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. I did, Aaron. Thanks for watching, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.